After the chaos of Tuesday with seeds 1, 2 and 3 tumbling, it would be up to seeds 5, 6 and 7 to carry the torch for the big boys at Queen's Club as round 2 of the Aegon Championships got underway. Joe Wilfrid Songa made light work of his first round match, but a breakdown to Luxembourg's number one Gilles Muller, the Frenchman was in danger of being another seeded casualty. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Carving that one away. After going a set up, Muller set straight about grabbing an early break in the second. Oh, yes. He enjoyed that and so did the crowd. Wondrous shot. Got him this time anyway, and Songa's down on the turf, but OK. The Setogenbosch champion held on to a solitary break to eventually wrap up the match and to stretch his winning streak to six. It's in the net. And Muller is in the quarterfinals. So with round two beginning by picking up where round one left off, Grigor Dimitrov would not want to add his name to the list of scalps. But in the opener against qualified Julian Beneteau, the sixth seed had it all to do. Good touch. A set down, the Bulgarian number one was jolted into action and began to show the kind of form he displayed in the opening round. A wonderful lob. With parity restored, the 2014 champion found an unorthodox way to forge ahead in the decider. Yeah. Oh, he's made it plumb on the line. Something a little bit fortuitous about that shot, but he makes his own luck. With a break in hand, the Bulgarian number one began to give the people what they came for. Great commitment and athleticism. <laughs> and Dimitrov completed the rare sight of a winning seed soon after. Game seven. There it is. Only one required, and that's what it means to Grigor Dimitrov. Seventh seed Thomas Burdick faced the tough prospect of the tenacious young talent of Denis Shapovalov, but in the first set tiebreak, the teenager's naivety was perhaps his downfall. Shapovalov actually going with the challenge there. I think he's owned up to it as well. The right thing to do. I'm not sure if it put Burdick off, but he definitely challenged. Saving grace for Burdick there. Oh, and he's made an error, big error. Four stands, two one. Burdick went on to claim the opener, and still with the match breakless, the second saw a tiebreak as well, and the teenager was asking plenty of questions of the Czech. Oh, what a way to do it! Absolutely stunning. Shapovalov levelled the match, but as the third looked to go the same way, Burdick used his experience to break at the crucial moment. Burdick takes the win. The first break of serve of the entire match. Donald Young would look to follow up his victory over Nick Kyrgios by booking a place in the quarterfinals with a win over Viktor Troitsky. And in the first set, a break was all the American needed to take an all-important lead. That's the way to do it. Donald Young marches to the change of ends with real purpose there. Both men's form was up and down in the second, and after an exchange of breaks, the world number 55 was beginning to hit top gear at just the right time. One. Oh, beautiful. Inspired from Young. All that remained was to serve out for a spot in the last eight. There it is, job done by Donald Young. A very accomplished performance today. So just the one seed sent packing on day three, Aaron Cilic will be the only man with a number next to his name on Thursday's order of play.